first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number five on the topic how many triangles are there in the given figure so now we are going to solve some of the questions from model number four i hope you know how the model number four diagram look like so friends never forget to watch all the previous lesson so always start watching from lesson number one introduction and then all the previous three models so again i have told you earlier in the videos many videos i have told that only for model number two and model number three we have a formula to solve so all the remaining models you don't have any formulas we are just going to solve all these types of model question by using a small shortcut technique got it so now let me move on to some of the important questions in model number four you know how the model number four diagram look like so model number four diagram look like it can be either a rectangular box or it can be a square box so based on those images our target is to find how many triangles are there in the given figure so now let me move on to question number one just see here a very simple question so our target is to find how many triangles are there in the given figure so initially we can go with a normal method right what is the normal method you, you usually see how many basic triangles are there yes or no so this will be one triangle and this will be another triangle and this will be third triangle and this will be totally four triangles so there are four small small triangles are there and when you look at the diagram carefully you can able to see another four triangle yes or no just see here so this will be one triangle yes so this will be one triangle so similarly this will be another triangle and again this will be another triangle and this will be another triangle so totally there are another four triangles already there are small small four triangle so another four triangles so four plus four will be eight so totally in the given image there are eight triangles so usually in the exams they won't ask these types of simple questions so they will ask like multiple lines here and there so we can't able to find every time like this so there is a small shortcut easiest shortcut to just listen carefully in case if you see these types of questions in your exams that is based on either a box or else a rectangle just put the numbers how many triangles are there just see here one got it so two three and four so totally there are four triangles so you have to target the maximum number here the number four is maximum yes or no is number out of one two three four the is number will be four so multiply this four into two so four into two is equals to eight so finally we can say that there are eight triangles in the given image so friends understood or not so what is the technique here is you have to write down the numbers initially so after writing down the numbers what you need to do here is you need to check the maximum number so here the maximum number is 4 so multiply that number by 2 so 4 into 2 will be 8 so that will be your final answer so we can say that number 8 that is totally there are 8 triangles in the given image so let me move on to some other example question so that you can able to understand the concept clearly so just see here there is an another diagram here so you can able to see there is a square box and it has been divided into multiple triangles so what you need to do is just put down the numbers right so this will be one triangle so second triangle third triangle fourth triangle five and six so totally how many numbers are there six what is the maximum number here so 6 will be the maximum number got it so what you need to do you need to multiply 6 into 2 so 12 so finally we can say that there are 12 triangles in the given image so just see here how easy it is right so another question it is one of the railway exam question that was asked in 2014 exam i think so 2014 or 2015 your exam so they have asked the same question and they have asked how many triangles are there in the given figure it is very simple right just put on the numbers here 1 2 so this will be 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so totally we have written 8 numbers and here which is the highest number that is 8 will be the highest number so what do you need to do you need to multiply 8 into 2 so it's 16 so finally we can say that there are 16 triangles in the given image that's it very simple and very easy to solve there are some exceptional cases we can look into that also but remember one thing so for these types of easy question that is for a model number four you can directly go with the numbers and just see what is the maximum number and multiply the maximum number by two 
that's it you will get the final answer got it yes so entering into one important question i think this was the question that was asked in college campus interview in one it company i don't know exactly so i have taken this uh, memory based question so just listen carefully so here you can able to see there are two square boxes yes or no so one outermost square box and second will be innermost square box two square box are given so again what is the logic i have told you first let me target the outermost square box so this will be the outermost square box so in this outermost square box just put down the numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 right so here in this outermost box what is the total number is 8 so here the highest number will be 8 so you have to multiply this by 2 so 16 so when you take the outermost square box there are 16 triangles so next let me target the inner triangle that is inner square box just listen carefully you should not write down number 9 10 etc most of the students will make a mistake because after writing 8 they will write down 9 10 11 12 kindly don't do that it is actually wrong right for a new square box you have to start again with the number 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 got it so inside that innermost square box right you can able to see the maximum number is 8 so multiply 8 into 2 is 16 so this will be outer square box inner square box so totally you can able to say that 32 so there are 32 triangles in the given image so friends understood not to make this mistake again and again many students will make it after writing number 8 they will start in the inner square box with number 9 9 10 11 12 13 etc don't do that got it for every square box you have to start with the new series that is 1 2 3 4 etc so finally you can say that for the given image there are 32 triangles so next question yes so this will be the most important question you know you have to be little bit careful while solving a question like this you can able to see we have solved this diagram alone yes or no this square box alone we have learned but there is an additional square box there is a two square box that is joined equal yes or no both are joined in this joining part you can see this area right so this joining area you need to be very careful you have to look into the diagram is there any other new triangle formed what we learned in the first question is we usually look at the square boxes let me take this left hand side square box and we will write down the numbers so one two three and four yes or no so here you can able to see the maximum number is four so we will multiply by two so the answer will be eight so for this left hand side square box there are eight triangles similarly for the right hand side square box you will get eight triangles so total will be what 16 but answer is not 16 the answer is 18 so just friends just listen carefully most important so never forget this logic when there are right when there are two model number four diagram that is two box images that join together there will be another two triangles formed just look at the diagram carefully because of this area sorry yes i can yeah just just listen carefully because of this two box get joined you can able to see there is an another triangle formed i hope you can able to see this yes just see here this will be one triangle and similarly this will be another triangle understood so there are additionally two triangles are formed due to connection of two boxes so plus two so you have to add two here so 16 plus two will be 18 got it so the answer for this question is 18 so always remember one thing if there are two boxes joined so here you will get additional two triangles got it so what is that additional two triangle i have drawn here in the green line got it so this will be one triangle because of this two boxes gets connected you can able to see this huge triangle and this will be another triangle so totally there are two triangles added additionally so the answer for this question is 18 got it so let me move on to this next question see now it will be easy for you just listen carefully how many boxes are there there are three boxes so you know that for this first box how many triangles are formed just now we have learned 
just write down the numbers and you can see the maximum number will be 4 so 4 into 2 will be 8 so for this one square box there are 8 triangles are formed for this another square box another 8 triangle for this another square box there will be another 8 triangle but you should not stop here so for every two boxes that join there will be two triangles formed so year 2 and year 2 so already here you can see 8 plus 8 will be 16 so 16 plus 8 will be 24 so 24 plus top 4 year will be 28 so finally there are 28 triangles in the given figure so friends never forget it got it so here you can able to see because of these two boxes get joined you know already right so this will be one triangle and similarly this area will be another triangle again so this will be one triangle and this will be another triangle so you can able to see there are four additional triangles are formed we already know that for each boxes there are eight triangles so eight 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 will be 24 then 2 and 2 will be 4 so 24 plus 4 will be 28 so finally there are 28 triangles in the given figure right so it, it requires practice friends remember one thing that we need to practice a lot and lot of questions again just by watching this video you can't able to solve the questions in your exams it requires more practice got it so let me move on to the next question yes so next important question so see here it was one of the uh, UPSC I think so UPSC exam question you need to be very much careful while solving these types of questions so always remember that if if uh, a box right a box image uh, vertically connected right you can able to see this is called as vertically connected yes three boxes that are vertically connected in case if there are any box that are horizontally connected you can able to see these two boxes are horizontally connected so if there is an horizontally connected you need to be very careful while solving it so you already know that here you already know that for uh, each box right if you write down the numbers so we can say each box there are eight triangles same logic so you can write down number eight here so for this box eight triangle so for this box eight triangle got it so totally how much is 24 first step and another thing you know because of two square boxes that join there will be another two triangles form in this area so similarly these two boxes in this area so we'll add 4 here got it so 24 plus 4 will be 28 got it friends got it just see here you know this area because of this two square boxes join there will be two triangles form so similarly these two square boxes join there are another two triangles forms so 2 plus 2 will be 4 so i have added 24 plus 4 will be 28 but the answer is not 28 the answer is 29 when you look at the diagram carefully because of three boxes join one box that joins in horizontal way just listen carefully friends so you can able to see there is an another huge triangle here yes just see this will be another triangle by connecting these three boxes you can able to see another triangle is formed so only we are adding one here the final answer is 29 so there are 29 triangles in the given figure so friends understood or not sometimes right every time shortcut we can't able to apply the shortcut for some question some uh, what to say manual calculations are required for these types of question some manual calculations are required but that comes only in practice where to use the shortcut and where to use the manual method that comes only in practice I hope now you understood the model number 4 logic. So how to solve this model number 4. Just write down the numbers and you have to check which is the maximum number and that maximum number you have to multiply by 2. In case there are two square boxes inside one another. So for the new square box you should start with the same number of series that is 1, 2, 3 etc. What we learned in the third or fourth question. And then if two boxes, that is two square boxes joined each other, right? If two square boxes that get joined each other, in that area, there will be additional two triangles are formed. I have told you earlier. In case there are three triangles, sorry, three boxes that are joined, you know how to solve it. But if there is an one box, square box that joined horizontally, you need to go with the manual calculation like this right so this is most important so finally answer for the last question is 29 so friends that's it about this model number four so again i just want to say one thing 
we initially we can learn all the models right what are all the different shortcuts and what are all the different formulas and how to solve uh, some questions manually first we can learn all those stuff for all the models and then if you start preparing some of the questions memory based questions like 50 to 100 questions then automatically you can able to crack the questions in the exams so again practice is required so uh, start practicing at least minimum of 50 to 100 questions then surely you you know for these questions we can go with manual or for these questions we can go with shortcut that comes only in practice so friends got it so that's it about this model number four so thank you so much for watching this video so if you really like it share this video to your friends so your friends can also learn all these techniques so thank you so much for watching this video bye